Hey guys, in today's story I'll be showing you how to use More Login, which is a new anti-detect browser that was developed by a team in Hong Kong. So as you can see from their website, it's a pretty standard anti-detect browser that you can use for managing e-commerce seller accounts, ad accounts for affiliate marketing, social media accounts, for crypto, as well as for ticketing and sneaker botting. So let's go over to the pricing. We can see that they offer a free plan for two profiles for zero dollars a month. And they also have plans uh, that start from 10 profiles going all the way up to over a thousand profiles. It's quite reasonably priced. So let me show you how it looks inside. So this is how you, your screen will look like when you launch more login for the first time. So the first step would be to click new profile and then you have several options, which is quick create, advanced create, and bulk import. You could use the quick create function. However, keep in mind that there's no field in which you can put your proxy. So I recommend clicking on advanced create instead. So here's where it gets interesting. You can actually use their version of Chrome or Firefox, which is pretty standard for all anti-detect browsers. But over on the operating system section, uh, I see that except Windows and Mac OS, they actually support Android and iOS emulation as well, which is quite interesting. I haven't seen uh, many other anti-detect browsers offer iOS emulation. I'm guessing it's still in beta testing, but it could be something interesting that's worth checking out more. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll just select Windows as the operating system and here I see that they have some canvas fingerprint technology innovation. By default it's left on disable so I will leave it like that however it might be interesting to try and see if you get better results by enabling it. So here you can browse your profile groups, enter tags, and enter remarks or notes about this specific profile which could be very useful when you're managing dozens or hundreds of accounts so you can easily find the specific profile that you want to use. So here um, on the proxy options uh, you can select no proxy, HTTP, HTTPS, SSH, SOX5 and I see they also have ready-made integrations with several proxy providers like Luminati, Luna Proxy, and so on. In this case, we'll be using Proxy Empire's proxies. So you can select either HTTP or SOX5. So let's just, just go ahead with SOX5. Then we're gonna grab a proxy from our panel. We want a United States proxy. So we just copy paste it here. It automatically populates all of the fields. If you're using a dedicated mobile proxy, you could actually enter the refresh URL here, or also known as the change IP link. If your dedicated mobile proxy provider offers changing the IP through the API. And you can actually enable this feature so you will be notified if your rotating proxy changes its IP for some reason. And the proxy detection button is uh, their test IP button okay then on account information you can actually select one of the most popular platforms so you can write your account details here i'm assuming for easier logging in so yeah you can enter the login username and password here and you can also select the the page it should open by default after launching it and of course you can import cookies, which is pretty standard again. Here they have some advanced settings. Um, I would recommend that you always put the time zone to match the IP. WebRTC, from what I see, I guess it would be best to use replacement. So it uses the WebRTC of the proxy because if you disable it, that's also a red flag to website. So I don't recommend doing it. If you use the authentic WebRTC, it will actually leak your real IP, which is not good. And the WebRTC privacy setting, 
seems like it's kind of like the replacement setting but instead it doesn't falsely leak the proxy IP instead okay geolocation um, yeah it's it says consultations but uh, consultation but it's actually enable I guess it's just a translation issue okay language match IP resolution should always be authentic you don't want to stand out you want to blend in with the crowd and then they also have like a bunch of other advanced settings which if you do not know what you're doing I would recommend just leaving as they are so now we just click OK okay it's asking me to enter a platform okay we click OK and then you just start the profile And as you can see, now I have a US IP. We'll go to whore.net to verify. Yeah, overall, I would say everything looks quite good. We can see that it's detecting a US IP. It's not detecting proxy empires, proxy as a proxy. It's not detecting that we're using any kind of anonymizer. And we're using the latest Google Chrome Core, which is a green flag in my book. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and if you're going to buy more login, make sure that you use Proxy Empire's 20% exclusive discount code, which is found in the video description below. And if you have any questions about integrating our proxies with more login, we would be happy to help you.